Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So this is a general love reading that I'm going to do today. Um, so obviously it won't resonate for all of you. Don't try and make it fit. Spirit is going to bring the most pertinent messages today for those who need to hear them. This is for those of you who are either in a relationship or there's someone on your mind. So we'll start with um, your energy, first of all. Quite a lot of major arcana, we've got four out of six. So quite a powerful message I feel coming through here. The first card, showing the main energy, um, is showing that some of you are either thinking about someone, you have um, a soul tie with this person, you're, you're very connected to this person, the other message I'm getting is some of you are in a relationship and you're either thinking of someone else, tempted by someone else, or you feel your partner is. Because it's quite interesting, we got the king and queen of water. So a couple here. I feel that a lot of you are in this situation right now, this relationship. But notice you're both looking different ways. You're not seeing eye to eye and there's this temptation that gets, you know, creeps in when this happens with couples, you know, when there's a lack of communication, you're not on the same page. Sometimes you can close up, you know, it's one thing, you close up, you shut down and your partner or you may go off in search of a temporary fix, I've got to say, you know, um, can be an addiction as well that is getting in the way for some of you. And for some of you, um, if you feel your partner's too focused on work, there's something in the way anyway here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn. Notice the King of Water, he's, he's reaching out here to someone. He, he, he wants to reach out to someone who's on his mind, or who he's talking to. Some of you know this, trust your intuition, if you feel this is happening. Now for others of you, because this is general, um, you're not in this relationship right now, But you're feeling this person's energy more. You're both aligning with the King and Queen of Water. And they want to reach out to you. Really feel. So a lot of you need to be patient in your situation. You know, this, this might have been quite difficult for you. This could be difficult for you. The guidance is to keep moving forward. And 
we've got the Empress, so focusing on yourself. With both of these cards actually, there's a lot of self-love here that's needed. So again, if you're single, keep focusing on you, being the best version of yourself. You know, moving into this Empress energy. And if you're in a relationship, try to open up, um, tap in more to your heart and be compassionate. Have a heart to heart conversation with your partner. Really got twin flames here coming through with the Divine Feminine. So this could be you. You don't see what's happening. Both of these cards, she's wearing a mask. Um, you're trusting your heart, your soul. You kind of have this inner knowing, but you don't know, you know. Um, alignment being shown here. So a lot of you are just progressing on your spiritual path, becoming very abundant. Focusing on yourself. And I feel the energy is increasing. If you feel you are the divine feminine energy, you're aligning with your counterpart, not just with yourself, but with your counterpart. You might be feeling this. So we've got Leo, Cancer, Libra, Taurus. So let's see this person on your mind with another deck. Quite interesting energies coming through here, I'm seeing a transition. Um, they've got two aces, two tens. So a completion and a new beginning happening for this person in their life. You know, they could be in a connection right now, in a relationship that has been long term or they wanted it to be long term. They could have a family. But the first card here, Ace of Swords, shows that they find the truth, they find out something about their partner. Um, this is a challenge for them. For it to be below temptation, I'm really seeing deception happening around this person. They don't, they haven't been seeing it. Um, and then something comes to light. I feel this person is starting, or has recently started their own business business venture, abundance, so they're doing well. I feel what's happened is that person has focused so much on that, they didn't see what was happening behind their back. Because these two cards also show this. Five and seven of air, not good energy. Deception, lies, cheating, Other energies maybe got in the way as well of their connection. Conflict with their partner, this comes out. So this person needs to learn from this, you know, it's been a life lesson. Yeah, 
there's there's been more going on than meets the eye for this person and I feel yeah it happens at quite a, a sensitive time for this person because they've been really in a good energy I feel starting something um, you know this project business and then they have this to deal with but they've definitely got the end of a situation to come. Needing to move on. Transformation, you know, this helps this person to transform spiritually. Find their spiritual path. This person um, has been very influenced by other people around them, not listening to their own inner soul, you know. And so this actually helps them. They go through this rebirth, I feel here. So for a lot of you, I feel this energy is someone on your mind really coming through here. Um, it could be someone you're with and you have been, you know, with sort of thinking about someone else and this comes out or someone you're with reveals something to you. Take what resonates, okay, because obviously this is very general. Scorpio energy a lot of air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's clarify this seven of air here. Yeah, something comes out. There's a third party here. Um, obviously as I said this comes to light and this person feels very angry about this they might have some repressed emotions they didn't know they had and this really comes out um, during this time a defensive energy Yeah, so what I feel happened, because obviously there's always two sides to every story, aren't there? Um, I feel that for this person, work was their priority. You know, this business venture, they were so focused on that, that their partner felt very excluded. And they wondered about their own worth and value. Um, they wondered about whether this person was committed to them. They started to question that. And then they had some sort of temptation come into their life. And they just thought, well, why not, you know? Because they felt it was over. So yeah, there was something getting in the way. And this person then has to look to their future, have hope, you know, um, in terms of where they're going next. So they're going to be a little bit lost for some time. We've got number 11 there, so they're being guided on their spiritual path with this card as well, spiritual transformation. Okay, let's see um, for your energy what might come what might come in for you next potential outcome. Remember, it's just energy, you know, so it doesn't mean it's going to happen right away.
Wow, a lot of energies here <laughs> coming through. We've got two kings, <laughs> king of air, king of earth. A knight and a page. Okay, so this could be a family. Some of you want or you have a family at the moment. Now, if that's the case, I'm feeling someone else comes into the picture here. That could be this temptation that comes into your life. It doesn't matter about the gender. You could be in a same-sex relationship, but it doesn't have to be. So a lot of you have a heart-to-heart -heart with this person, face-to-face, -face, I feel. For some of you, this is an apology from someone, they, yeah, they come back humbled, they've learned a lot from their past, now it could be this person because notice the path here, their spiritual path and they're quite defensive, yeah, that's what I was feeling, but they start to look back, notice he's looking back here. They look back on all the things that happened in their life, their behaviour, their lack of commitment, which all stems from within, you know. Um, scattered self, you know. I'm seeing commitment though um, from this person. They may be quite logical. In the past, I feel they they rule their heart. Um, sorry, <laughs> can't speak today. Their head ruled their heart. And then when they go through this transformation, it's, it's like what happens is your heart breaks in two. And then as it heals, they're able to love even more, being that unconditional love. So we've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wow, we've definitely got potential here for a renewal of a connection. Really seeing that. Number 11 again that we had here. And this card says hope. So this person, as they start transforming, they have hope. They want to put things right. Apologise. Um... Follow, yeah, follow their spiritual path. I keep getting that. The one they're drawn back to. So do you feel they go through a separation? Could be you as well. Because we've got these two energies. Some of you make a choice. I feel here. We've got Libra, Scorpio. Let's see the energy of this potential connection. Wow. <laughs> Strong messages, you know, we've got a very caring connection here, equal give and take, very balanced. We had that here, the angel of balance, helping you and this person align within and with each other. 
You've got the door to romance opening. So this is potential, if this is what you want. Number 33. Um, yeah, again, mind, body, spirit, when you're in alignment. And it's interesting we had deceit, you know, which I feel is what this person goes through on their journey and they learn a lot from that. This could be for you as well because you had that temptation. You may both go through the same sort of lesson. It's a spiritual lesson. But they may they might be slightly slightly different in the way it happens, you know, for you both. We've got action here. Someone will take action. Um, this is like the chariot that you got. The black and white horses. So moving forward, someone wants this change. Um, as I said about yeah, the alignment, that's really coming through, the angel of balance. Yeah, wow. Temple path, that's what I was saying for this person, isn't it? They're being guided on their spiritual path towards you. The angels and ancestors are around them. Same for you. You're being guided with the chariot to keep moving forward. Okay, let's take some whispers of love. Any other messages? Okay, relationship patterns. So I feel, as I said, life lessons for you and this person. You know, um, needing to look in the mirror at where you've repeated the same patterns or behaviours in your life with people and it's kept happening. So your guides and ancestors are really trying to help you see that to break free from that. And this person, you know, I feel they do with this transformation here, ego death. So you're being guided to ask for help if you feel stuck on your journey. Now this doesn't have to just be people in the 3D. This can be your ancestors, guides, meditate and the more you do that, the more you'll get these intuitive hits that will just come to you. Especially at times just before you're getting to sleep. When you're in that um, between sleep and being awake phase. Okay, because you'll always get the answers you need. Look out for signs as well. This person, I feel, may do as well in this situation. Yeah, there's more going on than meets the eye. So there's clearly some deception going on um, in some of these connections with this person in particular and their situation. Could be for you as well. But this will come to light. I really feel this is for this person with that ace of air, but this could be you, as I said. Flip the energies, by the way. They see the truth. You know, this deception could even involve a child that hasn't been spoken about. A family, you know, this person maybe has a family. And this is a spiritual connection, I really feel. Um, this connection that comes together between you and this person. You know already that they're coming back to you. It's your wish fulfillment. Some of you may 
find the connection increases during this time when they go through this change you, you connect more with their energy you may have some telepathy between you both or dreams may give you some answers in terms of where you're at, where they're at we've certainly got reconciliation you know which is possible for some of you in these spiritual connections yeah numbers as well because um, we had 22 here so that can be signs from the universe also from this person with that telepathy they could be sending you these messages. So always look up the numbers. Okay, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Thank you so much for all your support. Sending lots of love, and I'll see you soon.